I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today. I'd also like to pay my respects to elders past and present. Welcome everyone to today's webinar. We're delighted to have you. Majority of our webinars are recorded and loaded onto our PHN Learn YouTube channel. We also have a practice communique we send to all practices fortnightly with valuable information, including what internal events we have coming up and some external events we highlight as well. For today's webinar, all participants will be placed on mute. Please type your questions into the question box and I will ask them on your behalf at the end of the presentation and it will all be anonymous. Today we are hosting a joint presentation from Tina Campbell, who is the GoShare expert from Healthfully. Thanks, Tina. And we are very grateful to have Danny Tresize from UFS in Ballarat sharing their practices experiences using GoShare and why they highly recommend it as an engagement tool. You should see on your screen now a Health Pathways slide. In the handout section of the webinar is a flyer containing this information also with the um, login and password details. Please feel free to download this flyer and share it with others from your practice that are not here today. I'm now going to hand straight to Tina. Thanks very much everybody and enjoy. Thank you, Jade, and um, thanks everybody. It's great to be here today. What I'll do is um, I will share my screen, um, there we go, to show you some slides and uh, go into, excuse me, there we go, full screen. We'll run through a few quick slides about GoShare and GoShare Plus, give you a little bit of background. And then I will demonstrate GoShare and demonstrate GoShare Plus before I hand over to Danny so that she can give you some um, some examples of how she has used the platform in in day-to-day uh, -day practice. Uh, some of you will be aware of GoShare, I'm sure, um, and many others may never have heard of the platform. So GoShare is a content distribution platform. It's a it's a patient education tool that you can use to share content that's relevant to your patients. It can support quality improvement activities and um, you can use it in all sorts of ways. It's very intuitive, simple to use and it enables you to share information in a digital format. So you have um, uh, not only the ability to provide information to your patient by email or SMS, but you do have a record of it. So you can um, see patient engagement, you can report for quality improvement and so on. And your patients receive uh, the information that you've packaged together or that your, your clinicians have packaged together um, uh, by email or SMS. So you can see here, it's, it, this is an example of how GoShare can be used. Uh, it's just an example SMS message, it will say the clinician name, um, but you can see on the right hand side here, the patient can see information that's relevant to their health uh, condition or their area of um, health interest. So you can provide them with uh, video-based content, patient stories, fact sheets, a whole range of different types of um, content is available through the GoShare platform, which I'll show you in a moment. And so then uh, we can, we'll take a look at GoShare Plus. And GoShare Plus is a really exciting tool that enables you to use the power of CAT4 to create a list of patients that meet certain criteria and send those patients a content bundle that's relevant to their needs. So it's a fantastic tool for supporting quality improvement activities. Um, you can uh, create um, lists of people for you know, topics like, in fact, I have a list here of different campaigns that you can uh, use GoShare Plus for. So exam for example, uh, the COVID communication, for cancer screening um, campaigns, bowel screening, cervical screening, uh, breast screening, and so on. Um, home medicines review is another area uh, that is uh, where GoShare can be used to provide information and encourage people to come into the practice for a home medicines review. Shingles uh, vaccination, some of you may have already participated in that particular project that's been showing excellent results. Health assessments, uh, 45 to 45, 45 to 49 years and 75 plus. Um, and we've recently completed uh, an animation on the GPMP 
and TCA. Uh, so that you can actually send that to patients who you would like to encourage to come in for a general practice uh, management plan or team care arrangement. So I'm going to just quickly jump out of the slides and I will now go into GoShare and give you a quick demonstration of how GoShare works. So here we have the GoShare platform made available to you by Western Victoria PHN. And you can see that there's a long, long list of topics on the platform. And we can actually customise the platform really easily. So if there's any particular um, topics that you think are missing, any gaps that you think should be filled, please be in touch with us through, uh, the, through, your, um, through the PHN and they will communicate with us about adding new topics to the platform. So I'm going, today I'm going to use cancer screening. I'm going to use bowel screening as an example of how to create a content bundle on GoShare. And you can see everything is uh, presented in alphabetical order as you'd expect, but there's also a search function here where you can search for a keyword to find a new topic. And in a moment when I go into the admin area, you can also feature topics uh, on GoShare that fit up the, at the top of the list there. So let's go into bow screening. So for 99% of the topics that you saw on the list there, the content presents under four different content types. So there's patient stories, information sheets, animations, and apps and tools. There are also some additional content types that I'll get to in a moment. Um, information, or sorry, interactive packages or interactive videos are also available on the platform. So I'm just going to show you how easy it is to bundle content together. And when you're using GoShare, uh, you have the ability as the practice nurse, as the GP, as teams or individually to create a content bundle that you can either send directly to a patient based on their individual needs, or you can create content bundles that are generic and might be shared across your team, across all um, clinicians in the practice. And, um, and also at PHN level, Western Victoria PHN has actually created some content bundles that are shared right across the region. So it's really uh, quick and efficient to create the bundles and then to be able to share them uh, really lends itself to uh, consistency of messaging. Now to create a bundle, I'm going to create a bundle on bowel cancer, bowel, uh, bowel cancer screening, and I'm going to add a story, Lynn's story, which is a short story, and you can play that within GoShare to have a look at it if, uh, if you have time. Now, information sheets, you can see that there's 45 here. I'm not going to add an information sheet. I'm actually going to um, jump straight to another content item that I'm uh, in, in the apps and tools area. I'll get to that in a second. In the animations area, you can see there's a list, a, a relatively small list here of animations, but they're on generic topics. So any of these uh, are relevant to most of the content bundles you might create on the platform. In this case, I'm going to add the bowel screening animation into my bundle. And the third area, uh, I'd like to show you very quickly this interactive video that's been developed with uh, Queensland Cancer Unit. It's uh, a really engaging way to communicate to patients about bowel screening, about the importance of bowel screening. If I just quick Hi. play on that, I'll just very quickly jump out of the introductory piece. It's, it's an interactive video, which means that there's interactivity within the player. And the way interactive video, videos are described is that they can become a bit of a choose your own adventure. You can, the patient can actually decide what they want to hear about. So how do I complete the test might be of relevance to me. And I just literally click the menu item. So this is available, as you've seen, on GoShare to pop into a bundle. So I'm going to put that interactive video along with an animation and along with uh, the patient's story 
into a bundle. I could have added a fact sheet if I like, but I'm going to leave it at three content items. And we actually do recommend that you keep the size of the bundle quite small. Don't put too many content items into a bundle. So I have three items in my bundle and I could either just send this straight off to a patient now and it will disappear off the system. But what I'm going to do is save this as my bowel screening bundle. Or bowel screening and I'm going to save my bundle. So here it is. My bowel screening bundle is here available to me to use with uh, patients over time. I can come back to it, but I can also share it now as a what we call a branch administrator. For, so some on the line may actually be the administrator of Go Share for your practice. And if you are, you have the you you have this whoops, this menu beside the bundle beside the bundle name. And if I use this permissions area, permissions um, menu item, I can share this with all clinicians in my team. There's a number of other opportunities here to set a category, which it helps with searching. You can edit the bundle copy, so you can fix copy to the bundle and a range of other things that you can do. But I'm going to very quickly show you how you can send this off. So I can just click send bundle. I can also send to a list. So if there's a list of patients that you would like to send this bundle to, you extract your list and you can upload that to go share. But to send it to an individual, I'm just going to send it to myself. Uh, I don't think I'm in the system yet. No, nope. I'm going to just add myself here and pop in my email address and mobile number. And done. Now, if I hover over my name here, I can see my details and double check that that's all all uh, correct. And that's ready to to send off. You, the copy here can be edited, but I'm just for time. I'm just going to quickly send this off. So it says that my bundle has been sent, and I can see now that it's all coming through. And if I go into my Gmail. I'll very quickly show you what the patient receives. So if I just open the bundle. Now importantly, where you see Go Share, this can be swapped out for your own practice branding. The copy here is, uh, can be edited as you've seen and if I just click the link in the message, I can now see the content bundle that has been prepared by, by you or by your uh, clinician uh, and sent to the patient. And you can see there's a, a survey at the bottom here. So the patient can actually view the content uh, in their own time. This URL, which is unique for this particular bundle, never expires. So the patient can come back to it over time. Now I'm just mindful of time. I've done a quick run through of GoShare and um, just to mention, uh, in fact, what I'll come back to the reporting side of it. So we'll hold that thought. I'll come back to how you can actually um, see what has been sent uh, in a dashboard and you can see uh, open rates and, and various things. Now I'm going to very quickly show you GoShare Plus. I'll just do this in a few minutes and then hand over to Danny. You're all, I'm sure, familiar with with uh, GoShare Plus. Oh, sorry, with with Cat4, I should say. And some of you will be familiar with GoShare Plus. So I'm now in Cat4. I have my um, extracts open, selected my extract, and I've opened up my filters. So uh, just to continue with the theme of uh, bowel screening, I'm going to do a very quick demo with my demo data here so you can see I've only got a tiny data set um, but I'm going to do a quick demo of how to send a GoShare Plus bundle um, to, to a list of patients that meet the criteria. So in this particular situation I'm going to use months uh, to calculate age 
and I'm going to calcu um, pop in um, 400, uh, 597 is three months before a person's 50th birthday. Now, because I've got such a tiny data set, I'm going to pop in 840 months. Now, that, that's actually from 50 to 70 years, but what you would do is um, make that a much narrower uh, age range. It would be potentially in the various projects we're working on at the moment, a filtering for people um, just as they turn 50 to send them information about cat valve screening so that they're uh, encouraged to complete the, the, the kit. So once I've um, popped in the age group, uh, you can see I've got 15 left in my, in my data. So I'm going to hide the filter. I'm going to go to screening and I'm going to select FOBT last recorded already there. And I'm going to double click on the non on the uh, the area where there was no data, and here's my list of patients. Now, if I here you can see GoShare Plus. This is the first time you see GoShare Plus. If I click that, that actually brings up my list of patients that are eligible, and it automatically filters out the patients that don't have mobile numbers or if there is a landline instead of a mobile number, it automatically filters out those who um, don't have appropriate um, mobile details. So here's GoShare Plus on the right hand side. Your list of course will be much longer than this, but I simply put in an activity name. So I'm going to call this bowel screening. And then I just find the locate the bundle, which will be in one of three locations. So here's my bowel screening bundle. Oops, there we go. And it already has the SNS message associated with it. I can edit that if I like. If you can see here, it's using two SMS credits. And then the next step is to send yourself a test. We encourage that because you may have a long list of uh, people here and it is always a good idea to just make sure that everything is in order to send yourself a quick test by mobile so you can see the messaging, you can see that the bundle is in place and that everything is in order. I won't send uh, that now but it's just a matter of filling in your first name, surname and mobile number and that uh, can be sent off to yourself. Uh, and then once you're satisfied that everything is uh, okay, you just click send, a summary pops up, you just click yes, and off it goes. So your list of patients are now receiving the bowel screening, the bowel screening message. Okay, so that is a brief demonstration of GoShare and a brief demonstration of GoShare Plus. And I'd now like to hand over to you, Danny, to um, talk about how you've been using GoShare Plus and GoShare. Uh, and Danny, I'm not sure if you're on mute. Uh, Can you hear me now? There we go. Yes, there we go. <laughs> it didn't like the way I was trying to unmute it. So um, hopefully we can all see my um, screen there. Welcome everybody. It's nice to... Um, Sorry, Danny. Do you just want to um, just under the mute button your webcam? There you go. Perfect. Off yep, you go. Perfect. Hello everybody. Nice to see you. Um, so hopefully you can see my screen. I'm uh, Danny Tresais and I've got a nursing background um, and currently I'm the operations manager of primary care for UFS. And we've been lucky enough to be using GoShare for a little bit over a year um, in our practices. It's been very new for our nursing staff. So um, it's been something that they um, are starting to get much more um, traction in using and it is very um, valuable. So I'll just talk a little bit about one um, 
the way we've been using it and one um, example in particular. And I guess um, we were part of an APNA project and, and a lot of you may have been part of that project as well, looking at um, risk assessments for patients. And um, so when we started that project, the um, we needed to start thinking outside the box. UFS had some um, changes in staff during our project, which meant we needed to reinvent it every single time and it, and it got really tricky. So um, we tried to find a way of streamlining it and making it really easy. There's our um, practice in Dufton Street, which is our biggest practice, and that's where we ran this APNA project from. When we started, we were using um, a health check tool, which a lot of you may have seen now. Um, it's going to be much more widely available and it's on um, GoShare for everyone to use now. But it was a paper-based tool. So it relied on patients presenting to the practice, um, filling out the screening tool, and then somebody actually having to um, you know, go through them and calculate people's risk, which was very time consuming. And it didn't really target um, people necessarily that we were trying to target because it was only given to the people who actually presented to the practice. Um, and a lot of the time, if they're presenting to the practice, they know about their health risks and they're already managing them. Um, what we wanted to try and do was target people who potentially weren't aware um, of their risks. So the patients completed it, returned it to reception, the project nurse went through them and then um, triaged them into um, who had high risks, you know, medium risks and low risks and, and started contacting those people to do some health coaching and education um, with them. But it was very um, time consuming and there was really a low uptake because those people were already seeing their GPs, seeing the practice nurses, seeing allied health and managing those um, complex health conditions that they had. So we identified that there were some issues with that. We were only targeting patients who were coming to the practice. Um, patients were potentially being given that screening tool repeatedly because if they came back, you know, every couple of weeks to see the doctor, they were given it again. Um, and it was being led by us. So we were identifying the patients with risks and going to them with um, ways of managing that risk rather than the patients going and taking some responsibility for their um, management of their health themselves and identifying um, some of those problems and being engaged in finding a solution and, and having some education, et cetera. And it was very manual, paper-based, limited benefit. We had done some other activities with GoShare, testing a few different things like the bow screen trial that um, is now um, live. We did a little test with that in the um, setting of it up. We participated in the shingles vaccination program promotion using GoShare. Um, we promoted home medication reviews to our patients and it just started us thinking about how we could use a platform like GoShare Plus to reach those patients. So we went back. Um, these are just some of the examples of things that we did. So, for example, the shingle, shingles vaccination reminder was, is, was a year ago and that went out to 364 patients. Um, our home medication review was in February 2020 and that went out to 250 patients. And the bowel screen test um, we went out to just a very small group. We were very defined because it was just a trial of um, the setup of it and that went out to 65 um, patients. And um, when Tina goes back into GoShare, she can actually show you, you can um, go in and reflectively look at the lists of patients that you sent that to, how many got the SMS, how many didn't for some reason, how many actually opened it and looked at it and all of that sort of thing. So it, it's quite good, valuable information that you can pull once you've sent it um, to the patients. So we were starting to use it a little bit. Um, and... I guess the important thing to know is you don't have to be doing it alone. You don't have to be, um, you know, trying to create the bundles. You know, um, the Healthly team have been fantastic in putting together bundles and, and they're open to feedback from all of you on, you know, things that might be missing. So, um, and, you know, those, the content of those bundles is, you know, it's researched, it's written in simple language, you know, you can have animations, you can have videos, so you can target people whose literacy might be low. 
um, and all of those sort of things. So um, it's a really valuable um, resource that you can make use of. Um, so we decided to collaborate with APNA and with Tina and Neil at Healthly and to see whether we could turn that health check tool that we were using into a bundle. Um, and they actually took it one step further than that and they turned it into one of those interactive tools, which was fantastic. Um, so that then the patients, um, we could define a group of patients in um, CAT4, pull that report and we could send that information out to people about their health um, risks. They could do that assessment on their phone, you know, tick their age and did they smoke and did they have heart disease and it, it, it ran right through all of the questions. Then it told them whether they were low risk, medium risk or high risk and what to do. So if they were low risk, it was, you know, great. If they were medium risk, it was, you know, next time you're at the doctor batch, you could talk about this. And if it was high risk, it was, um, we put in an email link back to our practice nurse where they could send that assessment back so that we had a copy of it in the medical record and they could make an appointment with the nurse and their GP for some discussion about their health risks and the things that they can do to reduce those risks that they probably weren't aware of. And we targeted um, a demographic of patients that were, you know, um, 30 to 40 years old who were, you know, traditionally young, healthy, not necessarily going to the doctor very often, that sort of thing. And it put the um, onus back on the patient. So it gives them the ability to lead and control their own healthcare choices. And it also means that you're targeting people who are actually engaged and motivated to be involved um, because it relies on them making contact with you. And, and it worked really well. It was fast and time efficient because that, you know, um, text out with all of that information happens instantaneously and um, it's very cost effective. It's great because it's branded. So every message the patients get from GoShare says, you know, it's come from UFS Medical. When you set it up, you do that. Um, you know, it puts their names in it so it's personalised. So it, it looks really professional from your practice. Um, and it can be individualised. So you can use it as a whole group, pull a group of people and send a bundle to it. But you might be doing um, an appointment with a patient and they've got lots of questions about their diabetes, for example. So you can create a bundle of information that's specific for them and the questions that they've got. And you can email it to them like Tina showed you, or you can text it to them. And then in their own time, they can take it away and go through that information rather than trying to digest everything at one appointment. If they don't have access to email or um, mobile phone, you can also print out some of those written resources. And when they print out, again, they're branded with your practice. So it looks professional. It looks like it's come from you and you can give it to them to take away. So you can do it as an individual or you can do it as a big group. And it's fantastic for your PIPQI um, activities um, to keep a record of all of the sort of things that you're using that for. Um, just some tips about using GoShare Plus because it was fairly new to our practice and the patients um, was to do some preparation of your patient population. So put some posters up with what a text message might look like in the practice so that particularly the older cohort of patients that are maybe a little bit less used to clicking on links in things or quite people that are cautious about clicking on links that they get sent, they, they will see that and go, okay, so this is from the practice, it is okay to open it. Um, if the cohort of patients you're targeting or something is very small, you could send them a letter from the practice saying, you know, we're going to be texting you or emailing you information so you can expect to, to see it. Um, and it just helps increase the uptake. Um, and they don't think it's spam. They don't think it's, you know, um, some sort of link that they shouldn't be clicking on because everybody's very cyber safety conscious at the moment. Talk with your nurses and doctor staff because, you know, they will really benefit from using it a lot. And keep reception staff in the loop. So the very first trial we did, um, we sent out to 60 patients um, as a practice and I didn't think to tell reception and I barely hit send when the patients were ringing reception saying, I just got this message and I'm wondering about it and would have been much better if I'd let them know I was doing it and then sent it out. So that was a lesson learnt for us because people were very, very quick to get on the phone um, to make an appointment or to ask whether you know, the link was... Um, 
from us and whether we should be um, they should be clicking on it. So just that, keep that in mind when you're doing it. Um, and you know the um, the access to the GoShare Plus plus credit, sorry guys, um, is, you know, it's very cheap to send, but we started off um, just with a limited number of people who had access to send things, just as a quality control until we were sure the staff were confident. Because again, it's going out to one or 200 or 500 patients from your practice. So you just want to make sure that the information is correct. You haven't got any spelling errors in the text message, all of those sort of things. So. Um, that's why really you do need to send it to yourself before you send it to the patients so you can have a read of it, have a look at it, make sure that it looks really good before you then send it out to your patients because once you've sent it, um, they've got it and you can't take it back. Um, so um, I just put up this because really the work that we've been doing um, with our patients has, you know, really came out of support from um, APNA and the Go Share. Um, and health away teams and the PHN, um, you know, supporting all of that work in the background. So um, I will, um, you can go back to Tina and she's going to show you some about the really good reporting that you can do out of it for your quality, um, hip quality um, things. Great. Thanks, Danny. Um, I'll just show my screen again. There we go. And would come on, thanks. Um, just to quickly show you the reporting that's available through uh, the GoShare platform, um, I think you'll find it really, really helpful. Of course, there is actually reporting that's available through CAT4, and that's important too, that when you're sending, uh, using GoShare Plus to send to a large number of people, you can go into the prompts area, and you'll see that uh, there's a, a summary of the number of SMS message you, messages you've sent and whether they've been actioned. But when you uh, back in GoShare, uh, you can actually access a dashboard, and this is actually quite a new feature. So you just go to the COG, and if you are a, an administrator for GoShare for your practice, you have an admin area here. Now I've set myself up here as uh, I'm in the GoShare demo practice um, and you will all have, uh, both of you with admin access will um, perhaps recognise this. This is the area, this is the admin area where you can uh, make some amendments to the copy on the SMS messages and so on. Uh, you can add your logo um, and uh, put in the from email address and various things. So this is this is the the admin area, and you can actually add users. You can feature topics. I might show you that in a moment if we have time. But here's the dashboard, uh, and again, this is just a demo practice, demonstration practice. But as it um, refreshes here, you'll see that um, you actually have access to a snapshot. Uh, in fact, quite detailed information of the usage across your practice. Um, if I start at the top here, you have a summary of the number of bundles sent, the number of open, open bundles, and that means that um, it's seen as opened when a, a patient taps the, uh, uh, the link in the SMS message or clicks the link in the email. It gives you the open rate, um, it gives you a summary of the results in the survey at the bottom of the, the landing page, the content page. So I can hover, hover over that and see that uh, what the numbers are. <clears throat> and I can see that there's a 6.1% survey response rate. I have a view of the number of uh, registered users and the number of my registered users that are actually sending information really helpful information for you in terms of uh, understanding the engagement in the platform by your team. Um, so you have a view of bundles sent and bundles open by month. And bundles sent and bundled op bundles open by week, a more granular view. You can actually filter the date range and you can actually search for bundle name as well and filter on that. And as I scroll down, we've got bundles sent, bundles open by sender within your practice. 
So you can actually filter that data from highest to lowest or lowest to highest, or number of bundles opened. And we've got the uh, open rate here. We've got bundles sent, bundles opened by bundle name as well. So you'll actually get an, a high level uh, view of which particular content bundles are being sent the most and which are being opened the most. You can, for each of these areas, uh, uh, you can actually download the data here. So just use that, that arrow. Now there's some additional, so that's a dashboard, there's also some additional information that may be valuable to you as well. If you go into the menu here and you can select user activity report, this gives you um, very detailed information about the bundles sent, bundles open, but also um, really uh, detailed reporting on the content that has been viewed. So um, you can see here at a glance uh, the date that bundles have been sent by this demo branch, um, number of items in the bundle, and whether that bundle was viewed, the name of the bundle as well. Now, if I download this CSV report, I can put a date range in and download the CSV report, and that will give you a spreadsheet with um, detail of which particular content items are being viewed if that's of interest. So that's the reporting on GoShare. I'd like to very quickly, uh, I mentioned to show you that you can actually feature content on GoShare. So you've got quite a lot of um, control over the way GoShare presents for your practice. So if I go into this area here, I can see all of the topics that are activated. Now you have the ability to deactivate any of these. You might want to just condense the topics down to the ones that um, you believe are most relevant to your practice or to your team. But it might be that we're running a campaign, you might want to run a campaign on, let's use Screeny again as the example. Now to feature those, you just click the topics and I submit that. So that when I go back into GoShare and scroll down, the cancer screening topics are featured at the top. So you can do that for any of those topics. And as I mentioned, you can strip out any of the content if you want to as well. And while we have a moment, just one last uh, functionality to mention to you is the programs, digital programs. So I mentioned before that it's ideal to create bundles with two or three, maximum four content items in the bundle. This is because we don't want to overwhelm patients with too much information. And you'll find that, um, and what we're finding uh, across all GoShare users in primary care and tertiary care, that uh, people presented with too much information tend to only view one or two content items. And ideally we would like patients to view all of the items in the content bundle that you send to them. So if you have got a large amount of information that you'd like to provide to patients, um, over, uh, you, you can create a number of content bundles and schedule those bundles to be sent to a person over time. So that's using the scheduling functionality. And the first step is to create the content bundle. If I scroll down this list, I can see a large number of prepackaged content bundles that are available to you. There's a number on pain, pain management actually. So I might use pain management as the example for our quick, um, a, a quick demonstration of the scheduling functionality. So I'm going to go into my scheduling area. I'm going to create new and I'm going to create a bundle called pain management, a schedule, a, a program, sorry, called pain management. and I add my first bundle. So I just select from the drop down the bundle that I'd like to add to my program. So you're thinking about them in terms of the order that you'd like the information to be presented to people. And this is the first one I'd like in my, in my program. 
Now then I can uh, edit the copy for this particular bundle and it's ideal that the copy relates in some way to the content you're sending them. And I then simply add my second bundle. So I will find the next pain management bundle that I had perhaps prepared earlier. And I've got my second bundle in my program. I can edit the copy. And then I can decide on the delay between bundle one and bundle two. So by, by default, it is a one week delay, but I can change that to two weeks. So it's a two week delay between bundle one and bundle two. And I can actually choose the time of day that the content is to be sent to a person. So it might be four o'clock in the afternoon. And then I can add one more bundle. So I've got a three bundle program. Select the next pain management uh, bundle. And again, I can change the delay, set the delay, change the time of day, and we have our three bundle program. So really the time is, is in developing the bundles and being clear about what you want to send to a person over time. But creating the bundle itself is really straightforward. Once I've created my bundles, I just click Save Program and I now have my pain management program. So to send it to a person, I just again click Send Program. You'll notice as I type my name in here because I was uh, have already been sent a bundle earlier, my details are there. The email address or the mobile number of the identifiers. And I select the date that the bundle is to go. So if I ignore this and just uh, send the program, the first bundle in my scheduled program will go immediately. I can delay that if I want to. But I'm going to send this program to my patient. And if I go into this recipient area, more patient area here, I can see that my patient has already received the first pain management bundle. And if I go into the queue, I can see that I have two more bundles to be scheduled, to be queued up, to be sent to my patient. You can remove them from the queue. You can change the date that they're to be sent. So you've got complete flexibility and the patient does as well. They can choose to unsubscribe and um, either by email or SMS, there's just reply stop as it's SMS. There's an unsubscribe in the email. <clears throat> and if they do unsubscribe, there's an unsubscribe, the word unsubscribe pops up. So I might pause there. That is the um, scheduling of content, scheduling of a digital program. But we've gone through the creation of a bundle and the use of GoShare Plus to send a bundle to a targeted group of people, which is really relevant, especially when you think about, you know, for example, COVID vaccinations. Um, you can use GoShare Plus and there are bundles um, being prepared as we speak. You can communicate with targeted groups of people in phase 1B, for example, about the fact that they can come in for their COVID vaccination when the, when the time is right. But um, so there's, there's various opportunities the GoShare and GoShare Plus to align with quality improvement activities with NBS item numbers, you know, to really support population health priorities. So I think I'll pause there for a moment and throw to, to Jade. Thanks, Tina, and thanks, Danny. That was great presentation from both of you. We're really appreciative. There's actually no questions that have come through at the moment. Um, does, if anyone has a quick question, if you want to start typing, we can hold on for a minute or two. But otherwise, I'll say thank you very much. And you can always um, follow up. Oh, Ingrid has, oh, sorry, Ingrid. <laughs> She's a staff member, so I'm allowed to name her. <laughs> Hi, Tina. How can I update staff details in the GoShare portal? Thank you for that question. Um, so to actually, I'll just go into the admin area uh, again. So the admin, the person with admin rights has the ability to add users to GoShare. Um, I'll show you that part of the process first. So to go into the users area here, I can see my list of people in the demo branch. Now you just click the plus at the bottom, bottom right, and then you put the, first, the title, first name, last name, email address of the of the um, person. 
that you would like to invite, you can give them an administ—it's hard to say—an administrator role if you choose. Um, but if you don't take tick that box, they will just be a standard user of the GoShare platform. Um, now, to edit a user, you need to communicate with our team at Helpily. If a person has been sent an invitation and if they haven't yet accepted that invitation, they can be deleted from the platform using this um, menu item here. But once a person has actually accepted their invitation, to disable them or remove them, you just contact us and we can do that for you. Thanks, Tina. And there's no other questions, so I'd like to thank you both very much and thank you everybody for attending today's webinar. Um, we are recording this webinar and it will be placed on our YouTube channel, so if you need to share it with anyone or watch it back, feel free to. And we'll see you at our next event. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Jade. Thanks, Danny.